Hello and welcome to the classroom. I just finished my last class of the week. All this week we did a bug theme in my online classes and I'd love to come back and share with you all the things we did in case this is something fun that you'd like to do with your children. So we started the week off with the letter B for bugs. We decorated the letter B to look like a butterfly. We did some fun activities. Let's take a look at the lesson plan and I'll walk through that with you. So on Monday, I just introduced the bug theme. B was for bugs. We practiced the letter B sound by blowing bubbles and the kids popped them as they made the b, 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 b sound. We added bugs using a tin frame and that was just a fun little online activity. Um, and you could do that very simply by drawing a 10 frame. That's a rectangle that is divided into 10 sections. And then I gave them um, a number and they could just draw in little ladybugs. So the next thing for music and movement was the insect dance and the links will be on the lesson plan for you. For art, we did a fingerprint jar and it's right here. We just took a jar printable and then we did we used our fingerprints let me see if I could grab that for you and we just made all kinds of different bugs in the jar so that was on Monday that was the craft for that day the story for um, that day was bugs 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 by Bob Barner the link to get that from Amazon will be on the weekly lesson plan for you at my website the next day was the letter Z, and Z was for buzz. And so we talked about the bumblebee. We practiced making that buzzing sound by doing something super fun. But let me show you, first of all, how we decorated the letter Z. We just took a yellow marker, and we buzzed all around letter Z, buzz. And we just made lots of lines. So the fun way to practice that letter sound was that I told the kids to have to get a streamer, like a ribbon or one of those birthday party streamers, just a little piece of it, or toilet paper if you don't have anything else that you can use to kind of make like a streamer that you can wave around. I played the song, The Flight of the Bumblebee, and they just buzzed all around the room with their streamer. And I would kind of pause and say, what does, as we were kind of dancing, I would say, what does letter Z say? say zzz, as in buzz and we would buzz some more around the room to that famous song flight of the bumblebee so that's how we practice the letter sound the more you can do to practice the sound the more it's going to stick so definitely don't um don't skip some kind of game or activity that helps to reinforce that letter sound we also on that day did the two vowel walking rule and um, I just reviewed that and I said e, e even though they're the same vowel they're walking together and they make the long the first one makes the long e sound e and the second one is silent so we practice reading words like b c and we there's a worksheet that you'll get with the weekly lesson plan and it's just so that they could practice writing one through ten and it just has some bugs on the sides we did something um, fun for music and movement. We watched a short video. Music and movement is really just a brain break. So this one wasn't anything to get up and dance or move to, but we they really, really enjoyed seeing this short three minute video about where honey comes from, where we get honey. The next thing was art. And I'll go ahead and tell you while I'm here, the story was, uh, the Honey Hunt by the Berenstain Bears. I love all of the Berenstain Bears books. I love that so many of them are Christian based. And so hopefully you can get the Honey Hunt was not Christian based, but a lot of their books are. I have a lot of books on the shelf from the Berenstain Bears that are like God Made Colors is one of them. So let me show you the, the beehive that we made. We just took an empty toilet roll and we flattened it and cut it into five pieces. And then we dipped the pieces in glue that I'd put on a paper plate and we just stuck those on and then we just made a V. And we talked about um, how these are the, this is the honeycomb and the bees store the honey in there. And then they put a layer of beeswax on the top, kind of like a lid for it. So that was really fun. 
that was our art for Tuesday. Okay, let's see. Wednesday was S is for spider. So we decorated the letter S with just some simple spiders webs that we drew. And let's take a look and see what else we did. For the sound, um, we just practiced S as, as in spider. And then we just did some blending. So if you put all of the vowels with the letter S, then you can blend those two sounds together. And that is a great way to begin reading. Sa, se, si, sa, sa. Get them to blend. And then you can always add a third letter. Sa, t, sat. And we did a little bit of that in class. For math, there was a game. It was called the Water Spout Adding and Subtracting Game. And I will have a link so you can get that. It was basically, we had a little spider and we spun a little, um, a little spinner and it either said plus one or it said minus one. So if it was plus one, the spider went up the spout one. And if it said minus one, he had to come back down. So we were trying to get the spider up the water spout. Of course, for music and movement time, we did the Incy Weensy Spider Song. And then for art, we did a paper plate spider. Our book was The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carl. And here's that paper plate spider's web, I meant to say. Um, so we just cut out the middle part of the paper plate, punched some holes, and just, I let the kids just go back and forth, stringing their, um, you know, moving around their strings into each hole and making a little spider's web. And that was fun. Okay, so let's see what was Thursday about. Thursday, yes, was letter F. And letter F was for firefly. And I had two ideas. I did two different things, two different suggestions for decorating. We drew some little fireflies, but on another one, I just drew flowers because all bugs, most all bugs love flowers. So that was the way we decorated letter F. The game, so letter F says, put your top teeth on your bottom lip and blow. So the game for this one was F is for fast. This is the hand motion for F, like a firefly blinking on and off, on and off. But F is also for fast. So I said, blink really fast on your marks, get set, go. We did it really fast. And then I said, clap your hands really fast on your marks, get set, go. We clapped really fast. What does letter F say? F as in fast, pat your head really fast, go. <laughs> and then um, let's see, I think I said, touch your toes really fast. We went down and up. They really liked that one. And so that was the way we practiced the letter F. Can I go back if you don't mind and tell you really quickly, I forgot to tell you, I do remember now the game for letter S. The game was Simon Says, and oh, they loved that. Simon Says, clap your hands. And then Simon said so many things, touch your elbow. And if Simon didn't say it, then you don't need to do it. So that was a very fun game. So back to letter F and Thursday. Let's take a look at the lesson plan. We did a Firefly letter recognition activity that will be with the weekly lesson plan. You can see it was just basically all the little letters that were with a little Firefly. And we just I just had them all spread out and the kids had to find the letter. And actually, I just, I made them find the vowels. That's all we had time for in class. So I said, where's the firefly A? And we took it and we put it into this same paper jar that we did for art. I had another blank one and we just moved it to the jar. Can you find E? Oh, catch him, catch him. Let's put him in the jar. Can you find I? And so forth. So that's great for letter recognition. You could do all the letters. And those are, I chose lowercase because that's what you need to do when children begin to start reading. They're going to encounter more lowercase letters than uppercase letters. Think about it. Just the first letter is uppercase and all the rest of the letters are lowercase unless it's a proper noun. So you definitely need recognition of the lowercase letters. For math, we did a firefly addition to 10 activity. And that I think was on the screen. I think that's a boom activity that I got online. So I'll put the link in case you need that. And then the music was bug and roll. The link will be um, on the lesson plan for you. 
And for art, we did Band-Aid Fireflies and read The Very Lonely Firefly by Eric Carl. And there are the Band-Aid Fireflies. And you could use some really colorful Band-Aids and make these fireflies look awesome. I just used the regular Band-Aids. And you can even, the idea I saw online was to get those glow-in-the-dark Band-Aids, which I don't know if I've seen those, but you might find them and you can do glow in the dark band-aids and th those will actually glow up and that glow at night. And that would be very cool too. Okay, so let's see. Um, the last day was Friday's letter C activity right here. Letter C is for cut. So we just cut some little pieces of paper and glued those on. C is for cut cut and C is for c c caterpillar. Caterpillar is a really big word, I told the kids. So sometimes you need to break really big words down into smaller chunks so you can read them. So you can read the big word. You can blend this little piece and this little piece and this little piece and then put the whole word together. That's called syllables. Every little part of a word is a syllable. So I taught them how to clap the syllables. So I'll demonstrate. Cat Caterpillar, caterpillar. How many times did I clap? Four. Grasshopper, grasshopper. Three, three syllables. We continued with words like cricket. And let's see, we did um, butterfly. And we did ant and bee. So just continue with all kinds of different bug names and let them re realize how to clap out syllables because that's an important reading skill. You'll need to be able to break down those big words into smaller chunks so you can blend, 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 then put it all together. Um, let's see, we did an insect pattern sheet. That was just a worksheet and that will be with the lesson plans. And we did bugs and crawly things song. That was really short and fast and the kids liked it. For art, we made a bug observer jar and we read the story Twig by Ara Parker. And that was really a good story. They enjoyed it a lot. Here's that bug observer jar. We just took a piece of fabric and put it on the top of a jar. Now this is glass. So I told the kids if they could find something plastic like a peanut butter jar, that's plastic that they um, could wash out or even a plastic container from the kitchen that they could kind of see through so that they could observe a bug that they caught outside. And then I reminded them to let the bug go after they had had a little time to look at it and study it, they needed to let it go. So those were all the projects we did this week. What a fun week. I hope that you get to do these. And if you want to, you can go back and check out the other themes that I've um, put on for this on my YouTube channel for this month or for this whole summer, like camping. We did circus. We did the ocean. Mm, I can't even remember. We've been busy all summer long. I hope that that will give you some ideas things that you can do with your kids to make learning fun. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.